Hello everybody and welcome once again. This is going to be a little quick tip about heat sources in Forever Stranded. So let's get on with it. Now heat sources in Forever Stranded are really there to make lava. So let's start with the very basics that we need to do. So first of all we need a supply of cobblestone. Now I'm going to do that using a mining upgrade. So I'll make a quick mining upgrade. So what we need to do, dig a hole down here, one down here and one down here. Put in the middle of that those three some cobblestone, like that. And then we can put on one side of that a bucket of lava, and on the other side of that we can put a bucket of water. In fact, I'll bring this down here, like that as well, because we probably need that as well, like that. And then on here we need some transfer pipes and transfer nodes. So let's just get out of my bag some transfer stuff from extra utilities, I think it is, uh, wrong one. This one is what I need. I need some transfer. Where's it gone to? Here we need transfer node fluid. I shall take all of those and some transfer node items. And so and maybe I'll take the two retrieval nodes as well. And we need some pipes. Just like that. So what all you need to do is to put the part down the pipe here like that on the block and then we put onto that a transfer node and we need to transfer liquids because it's we're going to be transferring oh no we're going to be transferring solid sorry we're going to be transferring cobblestone so let's put the cobblestone connector down here like that and see that connects in now at the moment there's nothing coming in here because it needs this mining upgrade and this mining upgrade actually has a power penalty of 10 gp there you get so it's now generating cobblestone now gp the easiest way of making gp uh, is with a water with a water mill and probably just a straightforward nine by nine block is all we actually need to do that what you need to do is to put a water mill in the front in the middle of it let's got one let's make one of those quickly let's do it this way through the through the uh, through the a stuff try again oh it's already made I can just put this down like that. What we need to do is put it in the middle and then to put a water source beside it. Let's do it like this, get the bucket of water ready. So we take one bucket on one corner, one bucket on the other corner, and that will then give us 16 GP. And as you add these together, you can simply just take some more buckets of water. If I missed it, try again. Put one at this side and one at this corner, like that, and then you can still get your 16 GP because the water's flowing. It's as simple as that. Anyway, so if you need two, you just put the next one down here and so on and so forth. Right, now, so what we need to do now, it's the very first thing you needed to do in here, in here was to make some cobblestone. And that was a was a bit faffy when you first start doing um, Forever Stranded, but you get there in the end, you make one piece of cobblestone, and you can then put that into a crucible. And underneath the crucible, you put a torch. So let's get a torch out here like this. Put a torch down here and on top of that torch we can put a crucible like that and then this will start to get lava and if you look on um whaler you'll see it's creating lava at a speed of two millibuckets per second which is quite slow but it does eventually produce lava and after a while you've got a block of lava so let's do the same thing now and I'll bring this pipe around the side here, I think it's probably the best option. Like this. And we'll put another crucible down. So the next crucible we'll put down, uh, we'll do keep it one block away in this case. Because it's gonna, we're going to put a, block of, a bucket of lava in there. So let's get a bucket of lava. I've got a supply over here. I'll put that bucket of lava down there and now on top of that bucket of lava you can put another crucible like this and that should also fill up with cobblestone and it is and this time you're getting a speed of four millibuckets per second producing lava so you're actually getting twice the speed now the next level up is fire i think it's fire it's either fire or magna crucible uh, magna blocks so let's have a look uh, and what actually I'll go down is one more block down here and I'll get some netherrack out of the system. Like that. Put the block of netherrack down the bottom of here and I'll bring, of course, I'll bring the 
transfer nodes across here like that. And then I'll have to light this, so I'll need a, um, maybe I've got one in my thing, a flint and steel. I'm having difficulty seeing it as usual. I don't see one there. Let's just get one out of the system. That's actually in the indexer. And then we can light this like that. And that, that's burning, and that'll carry on burning forever because it's netherrack. We can put the next crucible down like this. And that'll start to fill up with cobblestone. It takes a while. In fact, what we can do is to speed this up as well. So we can actually put some speed upgrades in here. And that'll generate cobblestone at a faster rate. About 20 is the maximum. So that's now got cobblestone in it. And this one is, bur is burning at five milli buckets per second so that's faster the next one along is a magna block like this now the recipe for let's move this out. i don't need to like this now the advantage of the magma block is it doesn't give off heat so for example if i put this down here like this and let's go to is it, slash tan temp info you'll see nearby blocks are giving me plus two and that's these two blocks if I actually just take this one out of here like that on load of sand with it as well we didn't really want to do the sand let's put the sand back again let's go over here and have a look now there's no blocks around so if I put this block down here like that I'll get near it I'm not getting the heat effect from the magnet blocks so we can put this one down like this and on top of that we can put a crucible and then, then we should be getting again we're getting lava at five millibuckets per second and this is in the way that's a bit of a shame never mind we'll just move it out of the way for the time being and i'll put it back later on now the next one is when you actually go to the end and i actually do recommend you go to the end because the, end, the ender dragon is fairly easy once you've got flight and you get the end and then you can end, end up with a dragon egg and then you'll get 500 GP like one of these over here that, that, that dragon egg mill will generate 500 GP so I recommend you do it and also you get dragon's breath and with a dragon's breath you can upgrade your stuff uh, a simple generators I think it is you can upgrade your generators to mark 2 and mark 3 which actually quest rewards and from that you then get a lot more power from whatever the thing is so the next one we go to the end let me dig up some biotite let's get the biotite and put that down here put the put the block on it here and you'll see now lava is being generated at 133 millibuckets per second and this is not the last one there's another one by the way i'll show you what biotech looks like before we before we go any further it's a block that looks like this stuff take my fortune three pickaxe with me like this just for the sake of it so when you're in the end you'll find areas that look like this and then you just dig them up with your pickaxe and that's the reason i use the fortune 3 one because it gives you better returns for the amount like that so i ended up with five five you can make one block of biotite like that and that block of biotite you can then use for as a for, as a heat source for lava and as you can see no heat there's been no heat around here and this is generating lots of lava probably gone faster than the first one but there's not even a bucket in here yet half a bucket that's how slow it is in comparison to these ones this has just about got one bucket this has also got about one bucket this is halfway through and this has got seven buckets of lava already but there is one more and it's faster still let's go and get that one the last one is the uh, advanced machine structure from advanced rocketry and it's this one this looks like that and the recipe for this, I'll put it in there. 
Um, let's do that again then. The recipe for this is actually fit. It's reasonably expensive in titanium, but it's not astronomical. Oops, I need to do it. I don't need to do that. I'll probably better take one with me and then like that. And then have a look at the recipe for this. So you need five titanium rods and five four titanium sheets, and that will make sixteen advanced machine structures. Now, how much better is this one? Let's have a look. It's two hundred and forty millibuckets per second. So that's already generated the first bucket of lava. It's that fast. So that's it. That's it. Lava generation in a nutshell in Forever Stranded. So, till next time, bye for now.